Oh. Okay, okay, guys. It's okay. We'll see you again. No, I actually feel very sad though. Hello and welcome to week five of the best lockdown in the world. Oh, the salt water goes up your nose. Oh. Oh. As far as lockdowns go, um, this this is good. This is pretty good. I'm I'm into it. Salt water in my nose, but it feels good. Oh. Are you okay? No, I got stung. Oh, oh no. Really bad. Oh. It wrapped all the way around me. Oh my god. So there are jellyfishes in the water and now I am not sure that I want to uh, take a swim. I definitely got stung by not the comedy jellyfish. It was... I'm, I'm not sure I want to try my luck there. There are a lot of jellyfishes in the water. Yeah, but babe, the, the ones you're seeing, they, they don't sting. I'm talking nah, about. so I, what did sting you? I have, it's one of the long skinny ones. I've seen them in the water before and they've stung me before, but this one got wrapped all around my arm. Ah, jellyfishes. Yep, that will kill the mood. Ryan didn't go back in the water and I still wasn't willing to take my chances. So I abandoned my swimming plans and we instead hopped in the dinghy for our favorite lockdown activity, namely takeaway dinner. For the last five weeks, Bonaire has been almost completely shut down while a massive island-wide vaccination campaign is underway. So while the amount of cases is going down, some of us are enjoying the few liberties we have while patiently waiting for freer days. But for some others, the time had come to move on and the next day happened to be the first time in a while that a good weather windows allowed boats to go north and we knew that we would be losing a few friends in the process. I'm just realizing that, yeah, it is the last time that I, we actually see you. I don't say that. It's au revoir. Yes, it's Thank very you. true. A bientôt. A bientôt. Au revoir. A bientôt. Au revoir. <laughs> Everybody's leaving tomorrow. The one thing that is unique about our situation right now is that it is the first time in a place that we've been for a long time that we are the last one standing. <laughs> Literally everybody is leaving and we are staying for I think another three or four weeks. Yeah. Among the boats leaving the next day were our friends James and Philippa on Equus. We met James and Philippa a few months prior and we spent a lot of time with them. We meet a lot of people on the water, and among them, some end up becoming truly close friends of ours. That was the case with Philippa. Over the time we spent together, we grew to be really close friends, and we had tons of fun together. Unfortunately, one constant in this life is that we will always eventually say goodbye. And that night, the time had come. Hello! Oh, the mini jet is packed. Delivery! How's it going, James? We are exhausted, huh? Yeah, three months worth of crap we've just had to find a place for on the boat. It's a full day's job. Do you want me to tie you up? So, James, where are you guys going? We are going to Cap Cana in Dominican Republic which is on the east coast of Dominican Republic. And I think that the most important question is why the f are you leaving? <gasps> why? Our visas have expired. We've got about three days left on our visa. And when we were there, there was another cruiser in front of us who got fined $400. I guess that is a so valid be, reason to leave. It's going to be yeah. us. Cold Cheers so, to a beautiful continuation. Yeah and to the knowledge that we will be missing you yeah. very Whoa. soon Cheers. we'll see you soon though Cheers. i think that i can also say with confidence that our youtube channel will be missing you oh. well, like it is it is true <laughs> <laughs> we will we will be following your adventure on the uh, sailing equus the youtube channel the official <laughs> But 
I've got a little bit of anxiety. Anxiety this morning, James waking up at five o'clock to go for fishing and I knew I wasn't gonna sleep. And then tonight I'm not gonna sleep, probably. Well, hopefully you'll sleep. Have a few more of these and then I'll sleep. <laughs> and girls will come in festive clothes And the boys will wait again And birds will sing Nice! A little something for you, so That is so sweet! Oh my god! Okay, Philippa, it is time to introduce you to a policial tradition, which is that... Focus camera. Okay. So every time that we leave somebody that has meant something to us, and it's a lot of people in this life, You're we not take... not leaving us. We're not... You are leaving us. No! <laughs> are we? Uh, no, but we're taking a Polaroid photo, and it makes stickers Polaroid. So you write Does something, so you write up. something in our <gasps> guest book and we glue the photo. Just had to get one more in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Philippa, you have really used that entire page. Yeah, I was quite worried I might need the whole book. I also... <laughs> I've made sure I've gone from end to end of the page. I like how you reinvented the concept of, uh, of, of lines oh, for maybe, yourself. Oh, maybe that's the alcohol. Oops. Okay, turn pictures later. Okay, ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is good. That's a nice one. This yeah. is great. Yeah. <laughs> right, oh, right. This is great. It's got a printer This video is not sponsored by Polaroid. <laughs> <laughs> I look like I've, I've got a skin on my face. I forgot it pretty good. That you don't have skin on your face, you need to go get that looked at. Maybe you should have left tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? It's grey. Oh no, I look like I'm 90. You're joking. We need to get a better one of these. Absolutely, she can't see anyone's no, face. No, guys, it's a great photo. I want to take it away. Oh my god, it looks absolutely atrocious. I've never seen myself. It's okay, we'll see you again. I actually feel very sad though. You do, oh. you do have tears in your eyes, Philippa. I, I see them. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Really I'm upset are. I'm not being a borrow your tools from now on. <laughs> <laughs> it's all broken. I'm gonna miss you very much. Yeah. I used to find saying goodbye very painful until we started sailing around the world and changing countries at least every month and cruising turned into some type of a goodbye exposure therapy. In the last three years, I realized that saying goodbye was only hard because the connection that you made with someone was really meaningful. And that alone deserves to be celebrated. Over the last few months, Philippa and I shared some important milestones together. So while I was myself trying to hold back my tears and in all honesty while I am editing this video, I thought about all the times someone asked about making friends while living the lifestyle we do. And so if you thought that you couldn't form meaningful friendships while out at sea, well, um, this should give you an answer. So today we knew that we wanted to go out to sail and uh, it just so happens that a lot of our friends are leaving so we thought that we would wake up and join the flotilla except that um, no, at some point we will turn back. Um. So Rabbi's on the go. There goes the Chris. Equus, Equus, this is Polar Seal, Polar Seal. Polar Seal, Polar Seal, Chris, I can't believe your art is amazing, over. We get up! Amazing! Let's move over to 69, 69. How far are you going to be now with us? Uh, we don't know yet. Um, 
We'll see how it goes. All right, I'm down in the cabin, so I'll go back up. Bye. What's going on? Uh, out, out, out. It's not. It's just not working. So the chart plotter, like, at night you want to have the lights low because your eyes are really sensitive. And the only way to dim the chart plotter is by pushing the power button to dim, dim it. Well, the one button that's not working on the chart plotter is the power button. So we can't dim the chart plotter and we can't turn the scanner on from up here. And it's super, super annoying. And the scanner is for the radar. Yeah. So uh, it's it's just, and they don't fix these anymore. They don't sell parts for them. Oh, it's so annoying. And it is actually a big deal for us that you know we do a lot of night sailing, but it needs to be able to dim, especially out here. So wow. that poor chart cutter is what like yeah, it's, fifteen yeah, years it's old. Fifteen years old, but like. As our friend's navigation light disappeared on the horizon, we turned around to start what we were initially out sailing for. While we are staying in Bonaire for now, 2021 looks like it will involve multiple thousands of nautical miles for us, and after a year of almost zero sailing, we are a bit rusty. So before we can head off towards new adventures, we need to test our sailing equipment and practice some heavy weather tactics that are uh, quite new to us. Granted, at that time in the morning, the wind doesn't usually exceed 12 knots. So it is now 6 a.m. and the sun is starting to rise. We are not actually out sailing just for the sake of saying goodbye to our friends. We are um, shaking our sails out a little bit uh, because we haven't sailed much this year and the sailing that's ahead of us is really really big we're either looking at going north to canada or doing a full atlantic circuit in the coming nine months lots and lots of sailing so uh, we're trying different tactics we're practicing heaving too right now we are going to hoist our um, storm tube all right, so what we got to do, honey, is when I'm up there, can you take these two sheets yes. off the winch blocks? Yes. And then we'll need to release the this halyard, the, um, the, the spinnaker too. Okay. The red one. Red one? Yeah. And then I guess I'll have to figure out how to do this. All right. We need to talk about the temperature this morning because it is both warm and also really cold. Um, it is warm and humid and I can feel it, but also it is windy and kind of freezing. And I do not understand this temperature. Why am I cold when it is so warm? As its name indicates, our storm jib is the sail that we deploy when the weather gets really, really heavy. It is designed to be visible, hence the beautiful orange color, and keep the boat maneuverable in high seas. And because we figured that if we ever needed to deploy that sail in 40, 50 knots wind and big waves, we could use some practice in light winds beforehand and understand how to do it best if the time comes. I really like the idea of having those conditions every time that we deploy the storm jib. I'm looking at Ryan, figuring it out, I'm like, oh my God. Think of how it would look if we actually had to use it. Magnificent. I think that's the first time that sail's ever gone in the air. <laughs> you think? I think it was really easy to put that up today, but it's only like 10 knots of wind and flat seas. And I think in like actual storm conditions, that would be um, a tricky. So I'm glad we did it so we can think about it a little bit. Okay, people, it is 7.30. I am starting to be a little bit tired, but we're going to try heaving two in 10 knots of wind with our storm tube. 
Heaving to is another one of these things that is better figured out in calm weather rather than in the thick of it. Heaving to is a way of almost completely stop the boat by tacking the headsail without releasing the sheet and locking the wheel all the way towards the opposite side of the tack, if that makes any sense. Ryan and I never had to heave to before, but with the type of sailing that we're considering doing for the rest of the year, we figured, eh, better get on top of it. Well, that doesn't work. I mean, it works, but this is gonna chafe. So, I don't, but because there's no metal tow rail, I've got no way to like pull this line out. You know, there's a problem. I mean, not a problem, like, we, we need to be able to just pull this out a little bit. As I said, glad we tried it in 10 knots of wind. At 8am, we had played with the storm jib and hove to enough and decided to turn back and head home. When all of a sudden, the wind picked up to between 20 and 25 knots of wind, and with two reefs in the main and our storm jib, we still managed to rock 5 to 5.5 knots. Which really goes to show that when it comes to sail, the bigger isn't always the better. Somehow we're doing six knots on the storm jib. And with two reefs in the main. It was blowing pretty strong there for a few minutes. It's dialed back, so I suspect our speed's gonna slow up here, but it was like 24 knots, 25 knots. Yeah. Oh my God. Woo! So if you're wondering, why are you staying? Why don't you follow your friends to the Dominican Republic? Well, we have some pretty good reason. Good morning and welcome to the most important day in a very long time. Do you have your mask? Yeah, I do. After a month of hoping for the vaccine, Bonaire announced that it would inject literally everyone on the island, and as long-term visitors, we qualified. The vaccination campaign is well underway, and as I am talking, we are scheduled for our second dose in early May. As I walked out of the vaccination center, I had a thought for the thousands of people who worked to make this vaccine possible, from the researchers to the immense logistic effort that brought it all the way here. And I felt a blend of immense gratitude and relief. So if you are one of those who made it possible for the world to get vaccinated, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Man, I feel on top of the world. Do you, do you feel on top of the world? I feel on top of the water. 